Air Tracker 7 over the Poudre Canyon this morning showing the Seaman Reservoir over the dam. The river still raging, but Larimer County leaders telling us this is one of the least hit areas. Even though you can see the water flowing, uh, you can still see a roadway in and out of that area. This not as devastated as some of the other regions uh, that we've been told around the Poudre Canyon area. All right, so these pictures showing the destruction along Highway 34 on the way to Estes Park through the Thompson Canyon. Kelly Rarick sending us these pictures overnight. Her son Corey took these in the lower half of the canyon after hiking in to help some people who were stranded there. Debris, as you can see, literally covering the roadway there, and in some cases, chunks of the highway just completely gone. Take a look at this amazing video. This was sent in to us by viewer Nate Brellig. Now, uh, this small town, this is Glen Haven. You may have passed by it. You may have seen it near Estes Park. This is this afternoon, the flooding there. You can see the damage to Town Hall. Look at that. Uh, we looked up some of the pictures of this area as well. Before it flooded, looks like the waters have pushed Town Hall several feet to the right, right into the general store. You see the destruction inside the store, just devastating. Debris thrown all across that building. The water receding, though, tonight in Boulder. But many areas still only accessible by helicopters. Twelve choppers in that area alone today with another couple on the way. There are still more than 150 people in Boulder unaccounted for. The CU campus is still closed.